Kevin, it's great to join you on the ComScope booth here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Open RAN, one of the hot topics at the show, and you all had a really interesting announcement around bringing Open RAN indoors. Take us through it. I'm happy to. So we are, we're bringing Open RAN indoors. So here's what we're doing. Typically indoor networks for 5G, they're either distributed antenna systems or they're small cells. And what we're doing is enabling Open RAN on both of those systems. And that allows us to connect directly to the mobile network operator with digital interfaces that drive all sorts of the same flexibility, the, the same benefits that you get out of Open RAN in the macro, we're going to get those indoors. Yeah, drill down a little bit more. When we think of a traditional in-building approach that would involve either a DAS or a small cell, you know, there's very uh, clear benefits to both. There's some drawbacks and challenges based on which route you take. What does Open RAN do to kind of improve the whole uh, system performance? You know, that's a really good question. So here's what it does. So we are now going to be able to have digital interfaces, digital communications, digital 5G, all the way from the MNO's uh, radio systems, all the way through to the very, very last radio in the DAS. And that, what that does is it gives us unprecedented performance for those in-building systems, it gives us unprecedented visibility into those systems, and it actually gives us unprecedented sustainability into those systems. And then there's also a private networks angle here, right? So tell me about that combination between open RAN, private network, and in-building. Oh, very, yeah, absolutely. So we like to think about, uh, as we go bring 5G indoors, Right? The first thing that you absolutely want to do, whether that's a stadium, it's an arena, it's a hospital, it's a train station, you want to make sure that those smartphones work. Right? That is the number one use case, right? And we call that license spectrum. Right? But as private networking starts to gain traction, right, there are very, very specific use cases that venues have. And we can simply overlay that private network with that public network, and then we're running licensed networking, we're running private networking, all over the same infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And then this is whole concept, 5G in building, tough nut to crack, even though we're five years into the cycle. What are you thinking here in terms of broader market catalyzation with what Comscope's doing? You know, so here, here's what we think is really gonna happen, right? We're gonna accelerate 5G in, into the buildings. And it's gonna happen because Integration between the DAS, the small cell, and the, the macro radios is going to be simpler, right? Getting connectivity, the, one, the number one problems with in-building systems is once they get deployed, actually getting the operators to connect to them, right? So with these digital interfaces, those connections become simpler, right? Uh, the, the whole technology footprint actually reduces. So, uh, th there's financial benefits to that, there's space benefits to that, and we think some of these benefits are going to make it easier for those enterprise and those venues to adopt and, and get, accelerate 5G into the, into, into the uh, buildings. As you mentioned, we're five years into the cycle, that's when you know, we finish the macro networks build outs, it's the prime time for, to bring 5G in building. Compelling message, Kevin, thank you for sharing it with our audience. All right, thank you. Thank you.